in this video we will see the working of double acting pneumatic cylinder with the help of two valves v1 and v2 wall v1 is 3 by 2 wall whereas wall v2 is 5 by 2 wall now wall v1 is manually operated whereas this wall v1 is used to operate the wall v2 and hence it is written as it is pneumatically operated so v1 is manually operated and v2 is operated by this v1 both this wall their default position is right envelope mode that is this particular mode so this is the default position of both these walls v1 and v2 and these two walls they are used to operate the double acting cylinder so important point over here is that wall v1 is used to operate wall v2 with the help of this pilot line which is shown over here so let us see the forward stroke so always remember that the most important point is that these two walls they are in their right envelope mode so let us start with our forward stroke then we'll see the animation also as shown over here when wall v1 is operated in such a way that we'll get the left envelope mode then the air first it will enter through this pilot line it will operate the left envelope mode so this is pneumatically operated by wall v1 and now the air will enter from this side also and then it will enter on this part of the cylinder and will cause the piston to move in the forward direction so this is your forward stroke the air from the other side it will go from port 2 to this particular port 3 so from 1 to 4 it will be admitted over here and will cause the forward motion of the piston and from this side rod side it will go from port 2 to port 3 and it is exhausted to the atmosphere so this is our forward stroke we'll see the animation also so whenever the valve v1 is operated in such a way that it is in the left envelope mode so spool is operated in such a way that it is in the left envelope mode then the air supply will through this pilot line will operate the valve v2 also and then we'll get the left envelope mode and then the further working of the circuit will take place when this spool is released then due to the spring force by default position we'll get the default position of wall v1 and as this is the block port the air from the compressor will enter over here through this fril unit it will enter from port 1 to port 2 and will be admitted on the rod side of the cylinder and will cause the return stroke so it will cause the piston to move in the backward direction so the air from the other side will be exhausted from 4 to 5 so 1 to 2 the air is admitted on the rod side and from port 4 to 5 the air is exhausted from the other side of the cylinder now let us see with the help of animation how this circuit works exactly so let us start with our animation part so as we have discussed over here when the left envelope mode is operated of wall v1 we'll get the forward motion and then we'll get the return motion of this so you can see the working of this cylinder so let us see further so now we have operated the wall v1 in such a way that we are in the left envelope mode then we'll get a forward motion when we are in the right envelope mode we'll get the return motion again let us see so as you can see we are in the forward stroke so air will be admitted over here and then this envelope will get activated and from 1 to 4 the air will be admitted from the compressor also and then will cause the forward motion the air from the other side will be exhausted when it is in the default mode then it will cause the return stroke so in this way we can use 3 by 2 way wall to operate the 5 by 2 wall and then in turn it will operate the double acting pneumatic cylinder thank you very much for watching